What's going on, everybody? The boys. Are... Why are you muted? <laughs> yeah, why are they <laughs> muted, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, wait, why do I I was gone for like 20 seconds. Oh my god. Like, I needed a wee. Oh my god. A little wee. <laughs> I need a little, a little wee in the loop. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is time to bring in the big four horsemen of apocalypse of the Bleach Meat community. We have. Soul Madness, or Soul, as he goes by now. We have DBZ Imran, and we have Big Boy Clyde. And of course, James Ooh, Hansen. I like my introduction. Oh, did you like this? Yeah. Like what a fucking introduction. So, we've all read the chapter, right, boys? Yeah? Everyone's read the chapter? Yep. And yep. I can imagine... Yeah, 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 you dragged me out of fucking bed to get it yep. done. <laughs> Slept for five hours, and he's like, read it now, read it now, get out of bed, we're gonna record. And I was like, okay, it's... It's done, I finished it, so... Okay, 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 um, let's, let's get into the hype stuff, because everyone's here for the hype. What do you guys think? For a one-shot chapter, is this the end of Bleach? Thoughts? No. No. No chance. It's not nah. It's not a self-contained story at all. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's evidently left on a cliffhanger with so many things set up. Like, there's definitely mm -hmm. going to be more mm -hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, uh, like, from what I just read, it's definitely, I will say this, and I don't want to bang the drum as shit no nah, more. Now, bang it, bro. But... Bang it. Yeah, this... This chapter's uh, sort of like layout already has a better foundation than the way that the start of Boruto was. Uh, so I'm liking the way that this is going already. If you haven't read it, we are going to be spoiling it, obviously, aren't we, James? No, like, no absolutely. To, like, no, it's getting yeah, spoiled. You're gonna to, yeah, you're going to have to you're gonna have to click off uh, the uh, the video if you don't want to be spoiled. So you have been warned. But anyway. Yeah, there, there is so much to go on. I don't think any of us in this call right now expected the fact that the hell butterflies were foreshadowed since chapter one. The fact that they were relevant. Uh, I mean, guys, let alone, like, did you guys think that they were ever going to be relevant? Like, do you guys think the hell butterflies have been surveillance in the Soul Reapers all this time? And did you guys find it interesting to also add a new scale of, of power uh, called the Rei yeah. um, doing it by grades. I, I mean, I, I thought they're just this this quirky little Soul Reaper thing, but mm. like, I, I noticed something really interesting, that they are only shown around Soul Reapers of what? Grade 5 level yeah. 5 spiritual pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Which is definitely a unique talking point that I didn't steal off you. But um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's honestly insane just, just to look I, I love, it, I love it when people <laughs> I love it when uh, writers do this kind of stuff where it's like things that you think are insignificant in the first place turn out to be you know actually subtle foreshadowing to something more important later on so very yeah, interesting I, I actually agree with that uh one thing i'll say too is that uh even if kubo didn't plan this years ago one thing that he's done that's really good is that he's actually used the assets that he has from his series correctly and that's great a cool new story for this yeah. arc so regardless of whether it was planned or not he's used it in a good way so that at least at the end of the day is something really awesome he's expanding yeah expanding yeah, yeah. I, I actually when i was reading it that was a point like the the hell butterflies was something that i uh, I, I noticed straight away i'm like oh that's pretty Pretty cool because yeah they always existed but like why were they called that the whole time you know so if he went back and he's like all right i'm gonna use this for something in this arc like that's that's cool but if you foreshadowed it that's even more impressive so i, I like that little that little note on the uh on the chapter yeah th there are small details that's always there you don't really know the reason why they're just things that are just there within the story and they're such iconic you know pieces of bleach media you know that you see the hell butterflies around rukia at the start of the series and now we're finally going to get the answers as to what they are within these chapters yeah i, I yeah. saw i saw a few tweets saying oh well you know you can't say uh that the hell butterflies are only for people around like high spiritual pressure or like third sitting up because oh rukia had one yeah but you guys forget that biakia specifically told uh Ukitake not to give rukia a rank because he didn't want to get involved in dangerous missions etc etc so uh, again how how a hell butterfly works is still ambiguous to us however we can go back to the iran karak very early on where orihime needed to get escorted back to the world of the living and ruki says to her and i'll put it on screen that she didn't have a hell butterfly like uh like ruki does so if ruki and orihime which i didn't notice this if they both went into the same kaimon uh, orihime would automatically go through the dongai while um ruki would go through like the the the, the hell butterfly portion of that which was a very interesting concept in and of itself. So that's why she had to have two Shinigami escort her through the Dongai that didn't have Hell Butterflies as well. And that to stabilize the Dongai so the cleaner didn't, you know, neg 
them. So that Bloody was really, yeah, I didn't I, know. I forgot I was speaking to a bleach expert yeah. here. Like, <laughs> I completely forgot about it. I was, I, I was so. absolutely like mind blown about that because I was like, oh yeah, I, I guess it does make sense that like, sorry, for, especially for the same Kaimon is that they actually don't go through the Dongai. They actually have their own form of, of teleportation or, or, or portalization, I guess you could say, whatever that word means. But yeah, what do you, what do you guys think of that? The Rukia point, so I, I want to ask you this just in case the audience got confused. So are they saying Rukia couldn't have had a Hal Butterfly because she's too weak throughout the series? Is that essentially what they're saying? The, yeah, because I, I think I made a tweet saying, oh yeah, I was surprised that like when looking back that there was no Hell Butterflies with like lower level Soul Reapers and they said, oh, well, Rukia had one at the very start of the series. Right, so what what is the direct stipulation to have a Hell Butterfly? You've got to be a certain grade, like, because I did read yeah. things in the chapter, but like, so what, that, what that's level the impl- is the implication? What, what's the what's the bare minimum? Like, we're talking like lieutenants, so, we're talking like... Yeah, yeah lieutenants. Like, grade, grade three, wasn't it? No, it was grade that... five. Grade five is lieutenant. Oh, okay, yeah. uh, sorry, third seat. Yeah, that's right. Because third seat is grade five. Captains, yeah. Because yeah. captains one to three are all like they're they're grade three and up, aren't they? So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that that's funny because uh, and I won't go on too much about this, but when Rukia gets her powers back, like fully. Uh, during the Hueco Mundo arc, like, bro, she's not weak. Like, she's definitely not a strong character, but she's also not weak, so I don't understand that point. That's mm-hmm. absolutely stupid. Like, so, yeah, that's not inconsistent. Like, I'm not going to sit here and defend, like, oh, Kubo's planned every single little, you know, word that's ever been said since the, the first ever, <laughs> since the first ever chapter. Yeah. But, like, bro, that's that's definitely not a good point to make. Like, Rukia is, uh, yeah, she's definitely strong enough to have a whole butterfly. That's silly. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Uh, I also want to talk about, and this is like a crack theory, so start me on anything that you guys disagree with. There was a comment from Xylopro saying that, um, talking about the balance, essentially, oh, the balance has been disrupted. And he mentions about Aizen being uh, disappearing and you watch vanishing. My interpretation of this, um, actually... Do any of you guys have an interpretation of this at all? Ah, uh, which part though? Because you're gonna have to finish off what you were gonna say. Though. Yeah, okay. I think there's more to say. Yeah, so, so he says, uh, because there's been a lot of Rieishi that's gone into hell, such as Yamamoto, Unahana, and Ukitake, in all at once. Because I would imagine, you know, the Mimi Hagi was a part of that. That there has been an offset of balance because you've been given so much to hell. So that tells me that he also mentioned that Eisen had disappeared, and that you watch have vanished and what my interpretation is that is that there is no counterbalance towards the high level of concentration of reishi in the three realms compared to hell now so hell's version of reishi is overtaking the balance of the three realms which yeah, is why much. and i i think it's, it's backed up sorry to interrupt mm-hmm. it's backed up by the the symbolism of, of the two fish right? yeah so you have the the stronger the bigger fish which is symbolizing you know the, like the main realms which had a, a higher amount of spiritual pressure and then now that the big dogs are gone, essentially, you know, Aizen, he's in Mugen, so I see and they're constricted, just, yeah. just kind of constricted and in its own like separate sphere. And then, you know, you watch gone uh, Yamamoto Unohana gone to the Hellverse, and, and it said at the beginning, you know, now that the big fish has died, the smaller fish is now flourishing, getting stronger. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's kind of like you know showing that that hell i don't know how to put it exactly but you know gaining yeah, yeah, power, sure, yeah. gaining influence it can now you know be actually it, it makes sense for it to be involved in the story at this point because you know just like the, it's the now fish, not being contained the fish right? gets stronger yeah, mm. yeah it's so it's um it's all tied in neatly there so i, I like that i yeah. like that there's a, couple, there's a couple things i thought of straight away when i when i first read that i was like automatically like you can interpret the statements made by Zyle as uh oh uh, you heart and eyes are so strong and they keep hell shut like that's like just them existing that's that's kind of yeah. what it's what it yeah. seems to me as well that's, yeah it, it looks like it says like extent, yeah. um having guys at that level exist essentially means that like there won't be like some random outbreak of hell where they're going to invade the rest of the world and do something bad because you know a figure like eyes or you could stop them but i believe hell has now become so strong because of all the all the powerful motherfuckers that have died now they've got like way more ray arts who f- are flowing throughout the entirety of hell plus uh, the the biggest statement that i like really quick straight away is um when zyle says there is a and i don't know if he's referring to himself because like it could be worded that way but he mm-hmm. says there is a warden of hell that's all seeing and i'm like yeah hang on are we gonna we gonna yeah. get our satan slash yeah. devil character this we, has we, to we, be like oh shit wait did he yeah, he said, oh, yeah, right, he okay. said that. I wasn't speed reading, I promise. No, <laughs> right, right. no he, he to... said that. Yeah, so carry on, Claude. Yeah, that's gas. This is too uh, gas. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's hype. Oh my god. You, um, uh, someone in the comments said, "Oh yeah, you really think Zyle's like really the boss of this arc? Like, no, he's just a stepping stone." And I completely agree. I mean, we're probably he's gonna have Adin Yellow. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. He he's definitely a stepping stone. That's why um he gets stabbed the way that he does by the the person he's then talking about. Like he's mm-hmm. definitely not going to be a main one, but he's obviously going to be more powerful. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. I like the hollow thing that's changed. Like how you know the hole goes above you and so on. Well, the hole just moves I... to the like outer perimeter of the body. Like, yeah, so it's that... more more angelic. Like the way that they're sort of doing yeah. it. Like with yeah, it's more like I guess would biblical be the word. Like it's a bit more closer to that sort of stuff. Like I like that angle well, a bit it's more. Like stunned behind Jesus. The way the way that it's on either part. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. It's... No, I like, like, I like that aesthetic choice. It's like it's all manifested externally, like all their emotions and all their you know, fucking, you know, you know right. and like, it's, it's so cool. Like He's going to make uh, Ukiura come back and it's going to be sad as fuck. <laughs> he'll, he'll do something <laughs> like that. I guarantee it. Two, he's too well, we, 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 we can yeah. move on to the subject. The character's moving back. Yeah, a bit later, but yeah, Imran. What's, uh... I just want to talk about this point with um, Aizen having disappeared and Yuabak having vanished. Yuabak having vanished is obviously Yuabak's dead. Aizen's Riatsu has disappeared because he's sealed. Um, the thing is, these are people who are most likely destined to go to hell for their actions. So it's all about a balance. So now that there are most, more Reatsu from the captains going into hell, there's nothing to equally balance this out. With the existence of Aizen and Yuhabak, maybe they were balancing out the Reatsu of hell by existing in the Soul Society or World of the Living. But now that obviously then they're, they're no longer releasing that Reatsu, it's called a it's caused an imbalance and the mouth of hell it can't be you know kept in check anymore. Yeah, um, and, and and I do I do like the uh the whole concept of there having to be a balance in the universe because it's not it's not like this this arc or this this premise of hell fighting but like you know it, entering this the story is is out of nowhere. Like the, the concept of balance has always been a thing throughout the story. I mean the whole reason why the Quincy's and the Soul Reapers had had mad beef was because obviously the quincy's way of killing things disrupted the balance in in, in the universe it's, so it's the like skills, yeah. yeah yeah so it's not like it's 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 like you know shoehorned in plot thread to where <laughs> like oh i just want to show cool you know hell people you know it, it's partly that but it's also like i i, I like i like the idea of balance it's, it's very like consistent with what's uh come from before so yeah exactly i i, I have a i have something to say about it too um so like the way shunsui sort of like monologues and explains the whole thing to to Ruki, like the little you know the, the superstitions within the soul society yeah. of how that all works um it could be the fact that like so i thought of this straight away kubo might be making it you know sort of represented with it as a superstition because he's going to make it so eventually with this arc you'll find out that not all captains actually do go to hell it is the bad ones like what you just said Imran because technically uh, Yamamoto has killed in his own words like mm. thousands to trillions mm. if you interpret that statement with these bonkai as literal yeah, then yeah. like that's you know that like obviously that in itself is not moral like he's killed way too many people regardless of be- them being good or bad and then yuha exactly i thought the yuha wording was really interesting that zyle said because he said that yuha vanished but eisen you know so well, other no no so it was it which one was it, it was like eisen's you know gone obviously he's in the book and, and then I with mean, the yuha sure. wording it might be a mistranslation but he sort of says it it's sort of open-ended where it's like could return i do doubt that but you know it's kind of like a, oh he just temporarily vanished but i don't know maybe i'm just reading into that yeah it might be the much. translation it says eisen disappeared then uh you uh, have i think i think so, yeah, yeah i think it was in regards to spiritual energy like it disappeared because it's yeah. been constricted it's been not, yeah. not gonna lie when i did come across that page that's the page that i reread the most it's like wait yeah, I'm just trying to make yeah sense of course of yeah. Still, but, yeah but yeah carry on. wait i just realized something so in that last chapter of bleach by the way the one before this yeah. um when Kazui pops that 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 ball, right? Maybe that's not Yuha's spiritual pressure. It's the fucking hell stuff because I double checked that and like no, because as soon as I, I mean did. again, <laughs> of course, if it is, then fine, it is. However, the the yeah. difference when he did that, the same time the Riatsu that was Yuachi's with the eye, because the eye was there from the Soul yeah. King, yeah. disappeared the same time that Kazui crushed it. So that's why I think there's a connection. Of that being your watches however i'm not gonna say you're wrong mm-hmm. but it's important yeah. to say that yes like those yeah, two did yeah. happen simultaneously because i did I only, say I only say that because i believe in the next chapter sorry not the next chapter the next page it like skips to then the soul society because obviously it's meant to show someone's talking in the panel and they say you are then it goes to the next page but i could i could even be wrong on that no one. but the thing yeah. is i, I, I mean, do- we, yeah i double checked that sorry. because akon actually yeah. said oh uh the spiritual pressure spiking like it's you watches like yeah. it she watches and i was like wait uh. is it i was like is it and so well, i always thought it was you about coming back and finding them at their one moment of happiness mm-hmm. and he was about to return there i always thought it yeah. was like and yeah also, and it, it, it ties into the whole thing of changing fate yeah. like that entire thing so it's uh uh, I think this special chapter also takes place two years after the uh, final chapter. Yeah, twelve years. I was very yeah. yeah. All right. So how old how old is each go then? Twenty nine. 
Yeah, I knew he was in his twenties. I thought, I, I thought that dude. He went straight to the baby making ASAP, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was very happy that realistically captains weren't involved in this like little like pick up a, a hollow thing because at this point the captains are broken like really really broken so it was good to see a lieutenant only kind of summoning of getting the hollow because again like ichigo was just slapping these quote-unquote ghouls which i guess that's what they're called that's what Zaro Lopper called him ghouls yeah he just he just basically just fucking flexed and then just d decapitated was, one off the get-go just it was yeah great. The, the question i wanted to ask you too and i think it's really important is there's there's two different scenarios because kubo deliberately cut off shunsui and made xylopro answer right so i'm wondering yeah. if this superstition there's a xylopro version of what his perception is and shunsui's perception and i, I think it's left on a cliffhanger for example for on purpose because it's supposed to make the audience believe what xylopro is saying is true when it's probably not and i ask this because the ritual says that you must kill a hollow in front of the grave of the captain right or the grave of the ritual of which it's happening however what was killed in front of ukitake who's technically in hell were not hollows they were ghouls so maybe the ritual changed because ghouls were killed in front of ukitake rather than a hollow the, the only counter argument i have against that is just like aren't they just hollows that went to hell and just <laughs> yeah. slightly modified and then you killed them do we, um, do we wait do we know the ghouls are that though that. do we wait do we is that what said uh, verbatim in the chapter um, that's just what I assume, basically, because yeah. I don't know. We, we like, like, like the, the first time we saw someone go to hell was was the Hollow, right? And they're they're just Hollow esque beings. So, mm -hmm. and because yeah, Sile's, I, thought... I mean, would we count Sile as as a ghoul right now? Or well, is, well, well, well. I was gonna say something. I was gonna follow up something interesting. So I thought yeah, those yeah, sure. things that appeared were um, you know, just like a, a new redesign of those things that were in Hellverse. But obviously, they're gonna they're gonna act way different because it's gonna be like the more direct canon version of Hell, which mm -hmm. which is good. I'm glad it's gonna get a revamp. But uh, uh I uh. Now, I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I thought what was... I thought the reason Zayel was stabbed was because he was the replacement for a hollow, and that was the ritual with the Yukitake sword coming out of hell. Essentially, it's meant to be more like a darker version of the ritual because Zayel was used as a, a stabbing tool for it. Or... Yeah, yeah. No, but when he is stabbed, he said, ah, you've made an early arrival, Ukitake, which means mm -hmm. that maybe the captains that go to hell are some sort of, like, wardens, or that they're, like, keeping it all in check uh, in some way. Like, that's their punishment for gaining too much strength. Yeah, about about captains going to hell, like, I, I still think, because on the point that you made, James, of, like, Shunsui says the superstition, then it might be true, and then Sile outright says, like, oh, yeah, captains that die definitely, you know, go to hell. And mm. yeah. I guess I guess the implication of that is kind of that they're, they're, they're the, the not, only reason, not necessarily yeah. that they turn evil when they go to hell, but, you know, they're kind of, like, they're more malicious, the, whatever. And the like, only I feel I feel like it might be a red herring. I, it, mm. When I first read this, I'm, I'm like, well, are, the, are the captains really going back to hell? And if they do, would they really be you know with their personality change in mm. a darker way like is that really the case or is that style just kind of talking mm. shit yeah. um, and it also it also brings up the concept of like does it cheapen character deaths if you let's say bring them back into hell like this and you know like unahana the, yamamoto potentially all cure like clyde said the, like the, but, but we'll yeah, have to see we'll have to see how it goes because it's still like i don't know whether it's a red hanging herring or not and even if they are brought back like it could be done in a very creative and interesting way oh absolutely so, uh, as yeah, long as it's no like, edo tensei like, stuff then yeah sorry clyde gone yeah, but yeah, yeah i want to say something after clyde gone i i want fresh villains like i don't want to see like villains <laughs> yeah especially yeah. our characters we know get reused because as soul said it does cheapen their deaths but if there's like a few sprinkled here and there plus we get a lot of new characters and then this quote-unquote warden of hell like i like that i hope he does some crazy as design like i want to see some satan s type looking figures like maybe with the whole halos above the head too he might go further with that and we get to see like um you know dudes in hell that like you know manage hell that aren't necessarily just people that have died in the past one thing i did think of yeah. straight away is that we'll probably see uh some of the captains from the original war potentially because he did say like people Ooh. of that level go to hell original compatches oh yeah. Well, and, yeah, and that, like, that, like that, honestly, that. I remember years ago. Like, I think you you brought this up, like in like conversations years ago when we were talking about when Bleach was still being released, mm -hmm. and you're like. I really wish, like, you know, if Kubo delved into hell, like, there'd be, like, some sort of leader of hell, like, mm. warden of hell, right? And, like, how cool yeah, that would be yeah, to see. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's it's great to get, like, that that's, kind of... It's, it's pu it, even, even purely just to see how he would design, like, this yeah, quote-unquote yeah, yeah. quote -unquote leader of our hell, because, like, Ukiora's design almost looks like a satan -esque type of character when he goes in his second release. And I'm like, well, if he can yeah. make something this cool, bro, imagine how overpowered and how insane, like, a 
again, Satan figure would look like. So um, I hope he does introduce something like that. I hope there are like new villains like that too. And um, yeah, I, I hope we don't, as, as James said too, the Edo Tensei point, because that was something that was really dry about the yeah. Naruto war arc is that, fuck, I, let, hope, let me... I hope he doesn't do too much reusing. But yeah. you go, James. The only reason yep. why I, I, I said the, the superstition parts is because at the end of the day, this is, as, as Zimran said, this is 12 years after. We already know Yamamoto had his ritual. And we already know Unahana had his ritual, uh, had her ritual. So why is it taken 12 years for the gates of hell to open if Yamamoto, Unahana, and Okatake have been in hell for that amount of time and they choose now this. to open? Renji explains it that the Soul Festival occurs 12, every 12 years after the death of a captain. But they already did, we've, they already had... Yamamoto's but, but surely, surely yeah. that was like because they all died in a very like similar time frame right mm. so it would have been like a week before right but that yeah but they already said they already uh, did uh, Yamamoto and Inahana yeah but but that would have been you know a, a few days prior to the current events yeah, happening was, right yeah, now there was gaps there was gaps between the deaths weren't there by a fair margin like a few days or whatever so why did yeah. it so why did it take so long for hell to open up what just a couple of days like I don't yeah so really so so there must there must have been a, a failure I, it might have been Yukitake's like Ryatsu was the breaking point, maybe. Then maybe that was the turning point. Zylo Potter said that he made a point of coming forward so that he could meet Renji. He said that he he went out of his way to do so. That's probably why he got dragged back to hell. Like he he just like uh he just came out and vaguely said something. Then sorry, he came out and vaguely said something. Then went back because he got he had, he got you know sort of ripped back to hell. So it shows he wasn't meant to go there with others. Essentially, maybe that's a possibility too. Like he did it of his own volition. Yeah, it's may maybe it's just the others aren't interested or don't have the same motivations as Sile. You know, to get maybe they're just they they'd rather stay in hell for now. Um, whereas Sile's just crazy motherfucker so he wanted to go out prematurely we'll find out yes it is a, i want to say this real quick it is a surprise kubo likes him so much because uh isn't there uh, a little bit about him in the novels that sort of exist too so it's kind yeah. of like he's going back it's the whole mad scientist like, vibe that he likes isn't yeah. it and Next also point. guys you were discussing about you know shunsui whether if he said the same thing as xylopoto well after xylopoto talks about you know that the soul, soul reapers have been sending their own comrades to hell it cuts back to rukia questioning shunsui like is this true have we really been, i, I think know, there was a different answer yeah. i really do realize yeah. right now that the superstition might have been true i yeah. think i think it's a different interpretation i i i, I don't I'm not convinced. This is classic Kubo. This is foreshadowing Kubo. And this is the question, like, why did he make Zyle say that? And why well, did he I, make... I guess he kind of, he kind of left it open-ended on Shunsui's side yeah. because, like, a captain dying happens so rarely unless you happen to be in the time No, but, span, this, like, but this is third seats and above, now, though. Like, I, I, mm, so that means Kayan like... too, you know? Just, just one thing. Delving into a little bit of power scaling here, but Sile, Sile's literally fighting with chains, right? And... Yeah, I, I think was Clyde's, so Clyde's, Clyde's I ears, was like, really, burnt up, yeah. I was like, really hoping to If see the that. chains are in any way comparable to the ones in the movie. Because um, my man just slapped Ichigo it. And just casually, casually yeah. fucking base, base form, just, just, you know, slicing them up, like, okay? Um. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to say because it comes yeah. down to the argument of how, how canon do you interpret Hellverse to be? Do, do exactly, you, yeah. You know, if yeah, Kubo but... was directly involved with the lore of the chains, then like well, he, he's obviously yeah, yeah. showing us it's like yeah. He said like aspects mm. of the Hellverse are canon, right? Like hell is canon by concept, like, yeah. The specific, the specific basically... events of the movie. No, can... know, so. yeah, concepts, but events, no. Yeah. yeah, he sat down with the writer for the movie. They shared loads of ideas, and then uh, none of them were implemented into the movie script. By the time he got the script, it was too late to make any changes because the production had yeah. already gone on. Yeah, that's the problem. But, but, but it, just so phase, I feel like the chains is... of hell are pretty fundamental. Right? Well, like. He, he's, yeah. He says in his own words, though, Kubo, Kubo says in his words that he was okay with the stuff that's in the movie and stuff. He's like, yeah, I really want to be called the uh, the director or whatever because like, I feel like I wasn't involved enough. But then he, like, you know, compliments the movie and stuff. And then there's that statement at the start about how he sort of, like, agreed with the Yukiura and Ichigo uh, remake of the fight at the start of the movie. But yeah. even with that being said, still, again, it's like, we don't do we have any direct statements that he was involved with the, the lawmaking or, the or say, like, the Yamamoto statement where it's like, you know, I, I didn't, you know, even I can't oh. cut the chains of hell or it's yeah, not meant yeah. to be cut at all. I mean, from know, that so interview, I remember him, like, coming across as pretty disappointed. Like, I mean, he enjoyed the animation at the start and he said it's probably one of the best that he's seen his work be adapted into. 
but I don't think he was happy with the end product of movie four. It's yeah, it's hard to tell because I've read it a couple of times, and his tone mm. uh, comes across. Uh, sorry, comes across as either complimentary or it comes across as he's just being uh, polite, as you know, typical yeah. Japanese behavior. So it's hard to tell because there's a la- definitely a language barrier. We get my boy uh, Grimjow to join the squad. Oh, no, no. Ah, uh, 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 no. This is like probably just like corny fan fiction to your shit, but it's like, what if like Grimjow joins Ichigo and he has to fight like. Hell, Uki or something like that. You would, that'd nah, fucking, that, that, that's your mate. fucking, that's your day, that is, bro. <laughs> that'd be insane. That'd be so insane. But uh, I do have some final points that are like actual serious ones I want to say before the uh, video wraps up because it's, it's gone for a while, but you know, they're not going to complain the more the merrier. But anywho, I, I have a couple things. So the first one, again, um, I would suspect, you know, I'd be a bit suspicious that it's possible that not all captains go to hell. I want to reiterate that again. Uh, because of how it was a superstition so we might not see every single captain and like you know maybe it's just the case that again people like you, uh, Yamamoto and so on uh, go to hell because they have done bad things uh, you could say but what about Ukitake because we don't know the full extent of what he's done but again like they've killed so many you know souls and so on that like it, it gets to the point where it, it is an immoral action so they would be sent to hell you know by virtue of that uh, the other thing is too like this is good for a goal like in terms of uh, in terms of Ichigo and stuff because you guys didn't bring this up but this means our boy Ichigo goes to hell if he dies because he's very strong, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't yeah, that work that yeah. way? So, by yeah. by so by what has... Soil Opera is saying yes, technically. Yeah. So this this is like this makes me think: Was Yuha correct in regards to having a life where people don't necessarily, you know, go through the the pr- the process of life and death and so on, and it's a continuous life cycle? You watched like... it. Nothing wrong? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what I thought. Oh my God. Like, it, like people like Ichigo and, and some of the captains who are doing things out of the, you know, out of what they think is moral and just, right? They're trying to be good people, right? With the, with the people they mm. save or the fights they have. They've gained strength and by doing that, they've then cursed themselves to go to fucking hell. It's like, yeah. maybe our boy Mr. Moustache was actually correct. So, his, so yeah, that's it's... my final point. Good, it, gives, it gives a good motive to Ichigo. Uh, it makes you question like, oh my God, there's lots of stuff. Yeah, like, there's, there's lots of lots. shit like... Because yeah. obviously, like, if you're Ruki and Shunsuei, you're going to be like, well, Shunsuei's new head captain, he's a bit more open-minded than old man Yamamoto, who was stubborn as fuck. So if they're yeah. talking about this, like, are they going to come to, like, we need to fix this? Because, like, bro, we can't condemn every captain to hell, like, just, just by having them exist. Like, that's not fair. So what mm-hmm. are they going to do? Yeah, and, and that's what I think, like, Aizen, is that why he wanted more immortality uh, with Yuabak? Is that why he wanted to eradicate the existence of life and death? And that is, again... I think it brings a lot more to their character, that's for sure. It's it's really interesting. Um, I'm curious um how powers translate to when they go to hell. Do they get to keep all their all their abilities? There's um, gotta be a boost. They, they... There's gotta be. Yeah, I'm, well, there'll probably be a boost, but I'm curious, like, because if you send Aizen to hell and he activates hypnosis, like, bro, have fun finding him in there. Like, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I say that is because Renji's fought Renji before. Uh, so R- Renji's fought Zyla Pro before and uh, he would have no problem clapping him but he looked quite scared and couldn't really I think they also talked about this, there was a spiritual pressure they didn't quite um, recognise as well so I think Renji was quite shook by that and that is big yeah. red flags for and me and it's also yeah. it's also like he was in father protect mode you know that Renji too like is so strong that he in base would be able to like one shot him with that mm-hmm. sword like he should be able to but this Zyla's obviously got massive power ups since yeah. being in there absolutely without a doubt uh this is slightly tangential to the uh the meteor more interesting discussion but uh i, I like the new uh, lieutenants i thought they're pretty pog <laughs> uh, like like like, like the, the the designs and uh, especially the uh the, we'll the end it we'll end it off with this then we'll, we'll end it yeah. off with this is that keys going your witch's door uh what the fuck i, I didn't even think oh, of that uh I, no, uh, maybe I don't fucking know. But, but you my are? assumption is that my assumption is that she's from the same clan because of the the tan skin and then the martial arts aspect with the hand to hand combat. Like it, maybe I'm wrong, but that's that's how I interpret it. Yeah, I, I, I mean it I'm could be. Know. Like I thought the joke was just it was just the design was inspired by the I forgot what it's called like it the Garu like thing. But, uh, oh well, like... literally implied like like he literally implied she's a, like a Twitter e whore with the fucking yeah. Pretty much, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you go though. If it turns out to be something more like substantial than that, then like fair enough. Mm. But still, um... yeah, her cock sucking ability transcends space and time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not. So, so obviously, in uh, chapter twelve, we've got the first mention of hell. We we see this creature there, like you know, stab uh, the shrieker and drag him into hell. But since then, we've never heard of anything within the canon of the manga relating to hell so you know i'm really looking forward to what kubo's got in store for us you know really excited for all of it the the, yeah, the pain great. is is when 
is the chapter. When, yeah. yeah, when's the next Could chapter? Could be a monthly thing or two monthly? We'll have to wait and see. I think it will happen when the Bleach anime comes close to airing. That's that's my thing. We'll probably hear more of Jump Festa. To the people that doubt it's going to like go anywhere, uh, it will. Like The second that first anime episode starts, Shonen Jump is like, money! And then they're going to be like, yo, uh, can you continue that? How hard you been working on? So it's, it's just <laughs> a no-brainer. Like Whether or not it goes for like the next five or ten years, if it's if it's like uh, monthly or every you know two or three months, like I could I could see that happening. Because I don't want Kubo to, to be worked to death. I want him to be able to take his time. I don't mind waiting every couple months for a chapter. Like That's hype if we get like big 80-page batches at once, but... Uh, it'll it'll continue. I believe it will. There's a lot of potential here. And yeah, uh, I think that's all of us for now. Tell us in the comment section down below what you guys think of uh, Clyde's theories, DBZ Imran's theories, and Soul's theories. What that's do you guys... Insightful commentary. Did, did, cool. did you like that one, mate? Yeah. If you want to yeah, see more yeah. content like this, or even a live stream, let us know. Hit that like, hit that sub. Go check out all the boys. Check out, uh, actually, Coincidental Stark video, because he does bring up some really interesting points about the Hellverse as well. We could start be coming back. I was, I did, I was holding yeah. off from asking that question. I was, I was like, D -d -d what about? No, uh, we'll save that for another time. Uh, in the meantime, go sub to all the boys, and uh, ah, I'm going to catch you motherfuckers. Later. You guys, of course, have this fine Debbie Hanson. As always, people, peace out. Out.